Hey guys, I'm Little Art Demon and welcome to my channel. And today we are back for the second video of the comic series. And these weeks were kinda chaotic. I'm not gonna lie, this video almost didn't come out in time. It's a little bit shorter than I would have liked and the other is a little messier, but I managed to finish it in time, so that's all that matters. But I'll probably make this series just once a month and make the rest of the videos just regular videos. But before you get started, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe. Let's get into the video. The first thing I did this week was continue to write down my research, thoughts and ideas. I had covered the flower part last time and after a couple more weeks I covered both fruits, leaves, size and growth patterns. Those last two are grouped in the same thing because they're kind of the same. But I didn't record the writing part this time and there are probably many grammar mistakes in there so please bear with me. But I just thought seeing me write wasn't super fun so I'll show you some footage of me drawing at the park and some internet research. Here's all that I found. First thing is that there are three different types of fruits scientifically speaking. There are simple, aggregate and multiple. This depends on the number of plant ovaries and flowers involved in the process of creating the fruit. And I already had a pretty clear idea for what the fruits would mean in this story. As you may know if you follow these videos, in this fantasy world a lot of the plants or plant parts are metaphors for real life things. And fruit, or eating fruit, means something I'm not sure I can say here on YouTube. This story won't be explicit in any way, it will be cute in art style as you may have noticed by the characters, but there will be themes, or at least implied themes, that go deeper. It may look like a happy silly story, but the focus will be the relationships between the characters. And in this case there will be drama and some heavy subjects, not just necessarily mature subjects, but they go kinda dark sometimes. I'll keep most of it metaphorical, as I said it won't be explicit, but imagine the scene in the Maleficent movie when she loses her wings. That's a clear metaphor and it doesn't make the movie graphic in any way. That's not what will happen in the story, but those types of metaphors are some of my inspirations. But anyway, I also covered the leaf part and scientifically there isn't much to say. I mean, there, there is a lot, but not for this story's purpose. They have many different shapes, they can vary in color and they're responsible for photosynthesis. They're very important for the plant, but I don't think they will have a strong metaphor associated with them. I'm thinking about uses for leaves though. And I thought about consumption. Maybe they can be dried and turned into tea, or they can be eaten with or without being cooked, like lettuce or spinach for example. Maybe they can even give some special abilities to whoever eats them. I'm still brainstorming. And at last we have the types of plants based on size and growth pattern. And there are 5 types. Herbs, shrubs, trees, creepers and climbers. And these types don't have a meaning associated with them yet, but their behavior is different. And it did bring some questions like, do they use the wood from the trees? And I think they do, and they don't. In this world, cutting down a tree, especially if it's someone else's, it is considered aggression. But they do trim their trees and sometimes branches fall off. I think they would use those to maybe carve and decorate their house or give to friends. The herbs, climbers and creepers don't grow in size as much, but they spread instead. And if it gets out of hand, it can be considered an addiction, especially if it spreads to other plant spaces and damages them. But yeah, that's all the research I managed to do these last couple of weeks, and I sketched some trees as well. It will be hard to continue this because I started working and I have less time now, but I'm sure I'll manage to continue. I'll try to make videos every week, and I'll try to keep these at least once a month. And if there's a week that I won't be able to upload a video, I'll try to let you know in the community tab. But thank you for understanding, I'm sorry for the chaos, and thank you for watching until the end. I'm trying my best to continue this project and the channel running, so thank you for the support. If you like this video, leave your like and comment your favorite plant. The next video will hopefully come out next Wednesday, so subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you again so much for watching, I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!